Hi. Hello. Mm. Did you accept that waitressing job today? Oh, yes, mm. I did. Thank you. How was your day? Oh, it was uh, normal. Did you study for your exams? Not exactly. What did you do? I made something. Oh. For you. For me? What is it? Open it. It's a drawing of me. It's, you drew this? It's very beautiful. You're very beautiful. I'm home! Welcome back. Aggie, hi. How was your trip? Oh, we had a wonderful time. That's good. Uh, what, what was ride like? The place was fantastic. Huh. What did you do there? Did you go to the house? We had a tour of the Osborne house, yes. And the hotel was comfortable? Oh, yes. Harold didn't want to leave our room. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't. <laughs> what else did you see? Oh, the most fantastic shops, ceramics, craft works. I got almost all of my Christmas shopping done. So what's been happening here? What's new? Mm, nothing. nothing. I see. Agatha, are you okay? You seem a little sad. Well, I rearranged the furniture, but I always feel sad when I leave Harold. I know what you need. To have a shower? No, you need to have a break. A few days away, at a beauty farm. <laughs> That's a good idea, Victor. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Well, I, uh, I haven't got anything planned. I'm not doing anything special. I think I'll send you to the Burbank Beauty Farm in Somerset. Mm -hmm. Well, I... Oh, but who's going to look after this place while I'm away? I've got to clean the oven, vacuum the carpets, wash the curtains, and then there's ironing to be done. Well, Agatha, I'll do that for you. Oh, but you don't know where I keep the mop, the vacuum cleaner, the iron. Come on, Agatha, I know. I live here, remember? It's decided. Pack your bags. You're going to a beauty farm. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to call Betty now and see if she wants to come. I'm so excited. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, it's nice being alone. Yes, just the two of us. Mm, what shall we do? We can move a little closer. But we promised Agatha we would clean the house. Well, we can do it very quickly. And I'd like to change some of the furniture while Agatha's away. She changed things without asking me. And I'd like this house to, to say something about me. It's not just Agatha's house. Right. Okay. Uh, chores now. Uh. Chores? Well, what are chores? Oh, chores are the little jobs around the house that we need to do. Oh, I see. Yeah, remember sweeping the floor, dusting the furniture, doing the shopping. I love shopping, but that's not a chore. <laughs> doing the shopping is very different from going shopping. Uh, doing the shopping is food shopping. Oh, that reminds me, I have to go to the supermarket to get some housekeeping things. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need anything? No, um, I'll stay here and start vacuuming. Great. I'll be back in half an hour. Are you sure we don't need any special ingredients for dinner tonight? <laughs> no, Chan is bringing something from the international food store later. Not that Chang again. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you. Here's the tea. Can you pass me the mug? Now. Tell me all about the beauty center. Oh, marvelous. It was a wonderful idea. The mud treatment was good for my skin, and the thermal baths were so relaxing. You should try it. Did you have a massage? Massages and aromatherapy in all the rooms. I feel great. In fact, you should go there with Victor one day. Mm. What do you think? 
That's a good idea. Uh, so it's not only for women. No, lots of men go there. It's a wellness center and a fitness center too. I think Victor would enjoy it. I'll talk to him about it. Elena, I want to ask you something. Woman to woman. Of course, woman to woman. What do you think about Victor? Oh, well, I like Victor. He's a friend, a good friend. I mean, as a woman. Do you think he's handsome? Well, physically attractive. <clears throat> well, uh, yes, um, he's an handsome man. Are you attracted to him? Uh, I... Yes, he, uh, he's attractive. I, I like him. I'm a bit worried. Does he ever talk about his friends? Oh, yes. Uh, he often mentions his friend, uh, Paul. Paul? A friend? I've never met anyone called Paul. They go to the gym together. To the gym? What for? Exercise, swimming, you know, uh, working out on the exercise machines. I wonder who Paul is. Thanks for making the tea. <laughs> Give me a hug, dear. It's okay. <sighs> Hi, Elena. Hi, Agatha. How was your day at the beauty center? Oh, fine, fine. Have you just been to the gym? Uh, yes. How did you guess? Oh, with Paul. Actually, yes. But you don't know Paul. No, I don't. But Elena told me about him. We'd love to meet him. Why don't you invite him to supper one evening? I'll cook him a special meal. Of course I will, one of these days. So, did you like the changing we did while you were away? Yes, yes, great! Now, Victor, I suggested that you and Elena should go to the beauty center together one day. Uh, me? Uh, to the beauty center? Well, it's for men, too. Oh. And there's a fitness center. Well, I suppose you're right. Would you like to do that, Elena? Yes, I would. I, I'd love to. And uh, I might invite Paul to come too. No! No! Just the two of you. That's the whole point. Can you peel the potatoes? Did you buy the steak? I'm starving. <laughs> steak and potatoes for me. Victor, forget the potatoes. We have to talk. You really should spend more time socializing. You must get out more. Go to the movies or something. But I have to prepare for my exams. Well, you can study during the week, not at the weekends. You must dedicate more free time to seeing your friends and making new friends. Like my new friend, Paul? No, no, I didn't mean him. You should take Elena out with you. She could practice her English. Well, I have to study a lot. It's my final year. I can't remember the last time you went out with a girl. You're not ugly, Victor. You do attract women's attention. I can't understand it. And you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh, thanks for that. Where's the butter for frying? You don't need all that butter. You should use olive oil instead. It's better for you. I read an article in the newspaper about depression and the foods we eat. What we eat affects our personality and how we react to others. I know. If I don't eat, I'm not a nice person. Mm. Okay, I can't live on meat alone. Oh. There are the food groups. Breads, cereals, rice and pasta, poultry and fish. And you can't exclude eggs. Vegetables, fruits, beans, milk. Yeah, yeah. You use too much butter. You don't have to give up your butter and chocolate biscuits. I'm just saying you should use less. It will help you to stay healthy and fit, and that's a good thing, isn't it? Sure. 
but you have to eat more vegetables. They're an important source of vitamins. I always have uh, tomatoes and olives on my pizza. Oh, dear. I can't help you. You should go to a doctor and have a checkup. That's enough. I, I can't take it anymore. You have to stop trying to control my life. You should respect my life and how I live it. I'm sorry. I just think that you should do things. You should. You shouldn't. You can't. You must. You mustn't. Not everyone is like you, Agatha. Thank goodness. I don't have to explain my lifestyle to you. Oh, dear. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, did I offend him? <laughs> Uh, why do you have those bags? Where are you going, Agatha? I've already decided. I'm moving out. What? <laughs> now. You're leaving now. Where are you going? What? What has happened? Why are you moving out? <laughs> I don't want to disturb anyone. I think Victor and I need to lead separate lives. <laughs> Victor needs his freedom. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> Not everyone has the same character. Elena, you're timid and shy. Victor's more reserved. Not everyone is sociable and outgoing like me. <laughs> I'm too demanding. <laughs> now you're being dramatic. I don't fit in here. I'm leaving. I'm going to Betty's. Upset? Does it mean sad? Yes, uh, a combination of sad and angry. Perhaps you didn't like the new furniture Victor bought while you were away. She said she liked the bookcase. Anyway, you're not moving out. Don't be ridiculous. Where will you leave? <laughs> I'm going to stay with Betty for a few weeks. Then I'll decide. Are you two fighting? No. Well, we had an argument last night. You just have to respect other people's decisions more. That's all. You, you don't have to move out. I think Victor is saying you just have to give him more space. But you don't have to move house to do that. Agatha, it, it won't be the same without you here. It's just sometimes you're stubborn. And selfish. But you're also very caring. Loyal, generous, funny. Funny like fun. Humorous. I'm demanding and bossy too, right? Listen, you two. I think we all have to calm down. I don't understand all the words you're using, but insulting each other is not going to help. Victor. You have a lot to do, and I am sure you've been a, a little anxious recently. Sorry, Agatha. When I'm studying for exams, I become very nervous. This is an important time for me. See? Agatha, he's apologizing. And I'm sure he's going to be kind and understanding from now on. Did you get caught in the rain? Is it still raining? <clears throat> Well, I wasn't swimming in the Thames. <coughs> the rain um, started while I was riding back from class. It's uh, still raining now. <coughs> oh, this weather's terrible. Come and um, get warm. There you go. Mm, is uh, Agatha home? No, she was on her way to uh, yoga when I came back from class. I hope you're not coming down with a cold. <laughs> Your hair's still wet. Mm. Here, pass me the towel. I'll dry it for you. Mm, thanks. That feels nice. Last night, when I came back from work, it was also raining. That's London. <laughs> if you move a little closer, I can reach the back of your head better. Just me. Uh, are you okay? 
All's well. Uh, it's just the vase near the door, that's all. Oh. I have to make a phone call. I'll do it from the other room so I don't disturb you to their studying. You don't have to. Um, we can go upstairs. I, I, uh, I can go to my bedroom. And Elena is, is better off drying her hair in the bathroom. Yes, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I have to tell Betty. <laughs> I can't wait. Good morning. May I speak to Betty Summers, please? Betty, you'll never guess. Betty? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong Betty. <laughs> Could you put me through to Betty Summers, please? She works in the accounts department on the second floor, extension 566. Yes, I'll hold. Thanks. Betty, you'll never guess what my little brother was doing when I came home. <laughs> he was sitting on the sofa Kissing Elena. <laughs> no, no, they were definitely kissing. It wasn't just a quick kiss. They were kissing when I arrived home. <laughs> Do you want green tea or black, Agatha? Oh, green, please. It's supposed to be very good for you. You've never had green tea before, Agatha. You said it tastes bitter. Are you starting oh. a new diet? No. I just think I need to be a little healthier. When I was a young girl, I loved watching mother make afternoon tea. Her grandmother taught her how to make a proper pot of tea. <laughs> <laughs> when we were children, Agatha and Betty would help mom make her special jam drop biscuits. Oh, what are jam drop biscuits? They're biscuits, which you push your thumb into to leave a little hole to put the delicious homemade strawberry jam into. Mm. Dad and I love them. Our cousins always had apple cakes with their tea, but jam drops were our favorite. Although, Aunt Mary has always made marvelous jams. Mmm, mm, this tea is good. Oh, Mom sent it from Manchester. That's where our grandmother's from. She goes often to visit relatives and uh, old school friends. Oh, uh, where are you two from originally? Well, Mom's family is from Manchester, and Dad's from the U.S. We spent our school years living with uh, our Dad's family in Arizona until he was transferred here with work. Then we lived in a flat in Flagstaff, mm. and we used to visit our granny, grandmother. Oh. On the farm in the country. Okay, guys, I have something to tell you. I've just been to the doctors and... Oh, is everything okay? You have been ill a lot recently. Have you taken those vitamin pills I left on the table? Victor? I'm pregnant! <laughs> How long have you known? Have you told Harold? I've just spoken to him, although he's suspected for weeks. His transfer has just come through and he's coming back to London for good! <laughs> That's fantastic news. <laughs> oh. I wonder who that is. I'll go. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, I did. What about you? What did you do on the weekend? Can you guess? Did you go to the cinema? No, I didn't. Did you eat out at a restaurant? Sorry, but do no. So, hmm, did you go shopping? Yeah, I did. You know I love shopping. Yeah, I know. So what did you buy? Well, two bags, three dresses, and a pair of high heels. Wow, sounds great. Oh, that sounds great. Uh, now, okay. Remember, did you, you can say did you in communication or you can say did you if you like, but I prefer saying did you. Uh, did you or did you. Uh, and remember, did you, after that is a verb. We use did you to ask a question about the past. Something happened in the past. For need, 
and need it. We have call me if you need anything. Uh, if you want me to do something for you, if you need any help, you can call me. Okay, call me if you. Uh, remember here is long or core. Don't say uh, don't say core or con. Okay, core. Call me if you need need anything. Need anything. Call me if you need anything. Anything. Remember th. Call me if you need anything. Number. Oh, uh, sorry for needed. They. They. Remember th. They needed your help. You can link. D and Y together, together, and it becomes J, just like job, okay, engineer. And then we have, they needed your help. They needed your help. For number two, decide and decided. You should decide what you want to wear quickly. Uh, for example, like, um, we are going to a uh, party, something like that, and then uh, uh, I don't know what to wear because uh, you know I have a lot of dresses and skirts, and I don't know uh, which one is which one is better for me. So I kind of hesi uh, hesitate, and then maybe my boyfriend talked to me. You should decide quickly what you want to wear. Okay, uh, so you should decide what you. T Y together. Ch what you want to? You say wanna. What you wanna wear quickly? Quickly. That means fast. You should decide what you want to wear quickly. You should decide what you wanna wear quickly. Decided. Have you link them together? Have you? Have you decided where to eat yet? Eat. T and Y together. You can say. You can link them together just like ch chicken. Eat yet? Have you decided where to eat yet? Have you decided where to eat yet? That means that we are going to uh, go to a restaurant to eat, but we we have not decided yet where to eat. We we don't know uh, res which restaurant to eat. Which restaurant is better? So we are hesitant, and uh, we have to think carefully uh, before decide where to go to eat. So have you decided where to eat yet? Have you decided where to eat yet? Uh, for number three, divide and divide it. I'm going to divide our class into two teams. For example, I'm the teacher. I'm teaching in my class. A, uh, I have an activity or maybe a game for them to take part in, and then um, I will divide my class into two teams, two groups, and then I will talk to my class. Okay, I'm going to divide our class into two teams. I'm going to, you can say, I'm gonna. I'm gonna divide our class. Remember, cl 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 class, class into two teams. Class and into you can link them together. Class into, class into two teams. I'm gonna divide our class into two teams. Now, for divided here, um, ten divided by five is two. 10 divided by 5 is 2. You know this one, right? This is a division. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. Divided by. Okay, this is divided by. Uh, now next, land and landed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to land in 10 minutes. Uh, we are in a plane and I'm the host and I'm the hostess or maybe I'm the fl uh, or you can say I'm the flight attendant you know flight attendant is much easier for you to understand right so I'm the flight attendant uh, we are going to land in 10 minutes and then I will announce to the customers to the passengers that ladies and gentlemen ladies and ladies and gentlemen we are going to land it in 10 minutes Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to land it in 10 minutes or we are gonna. We are gonna land in 10 minutes. Uh, for landed, our plane has landed. Sorry, our 
plane has landed safely. Um, uh, okay, before landing, I will talk to my passengers that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to land in 10 minutes. And after, uh, after the plane landed safely, and then uh, that means like it go down to, onto the ground already. And then I announced to my passengers that our plane has landed, uh, sorry, our plane has landed safely. Okay, everyone is safe. Everything is safe. Our plane has landed safely. Uh, next, pretend and pretend it. Uh, remember pretend that means you say or you behave in a way that makes people believe something but that is not true. Okay, don't pretend that you knew nothing. Uh, don't pretend, don't pretend that, that, and then you can link them together. That you. Don't, pre don't pretend that you knew nothing. That you knew nothing, that means like you didn't know anything. That means I know you knew something, but you just pretend to me that you know nothing. So I have to talk to you. Don't pretend that you knew nothing, okay? Because I know you knew something. Don't pretend that you knew nothing, okay? Don't pretend that you knew nothing. Knew here is the past uh, simple form of no. You know the word no? No, okay. And then the past simple form is new. For pretended, he pretended to me that he was at home. Was it? Was at home. He pretended to me that he was at home. He pretended to me that he was at home.